if you think about the legal world, a lot of the junior folks and mid-level folks in a law firm have learned things through the, the manual drafting of things, submitting it to their boss, getting the most friendly feedback, I assume, on how to think, make things better. Um, in a world where LLMs can do so much of this stuff, how do you keep your uh, employees trained and effective? And how, much, how do you guys think about that, if I could go off script a little yeah, bit no, on this you topic? Can. Um, we think about that as, uh, lawyer, as lawyers at large law firms all the time these days. Um, there are certain tasks that, and, and I don't think any real big law firms yet are doing it this way, but we're close, I, I suspect. Um, there are certain tasks that are just going to be better done um, by machine than by human. Strategically, we still think thinking is going to be hopefully a, a, a person's job for the foreseeable future. But there will be certain tasks that have been rote tasks that junior lawyers did that probably will go away. I think if you, and if you look at the other side of that coin, maybe it's not the ap absolute other side, but the other side of that coin, I was thinking as you all were talking is we all as lawyers and compliance, as legal and compliance people, need to understand what you are doing with AI so that we can write policies and procedures. Now maybe AI can write them, but so that we can write policies and procedures that will be compliant. Because we know the government cares an awful lot. The SEC, which is our principal regulator, cares an awful lot about how we're using AI. They are, I, would, I think it's fair to say, the SEC is in the learning phase, just trying to figure out how we're using AI, how you are using AI. And then what we'll need to do is, the, the first question the SEC will ask once they figure it all out and, and they're making progress is, okay, you're, you're using it in this way. Do you have policies and procedures that say how you're going to use it and you're actually following those policies and procedures as Roger does? It's always the very first question the regulator asks. What do you say you're going to do and are you doing it? So we as lawyers and compliance folks need to, this is why this is so fascinating for me, to, I need to understand how y'all are using AI so that we can write policies and procedures that capture it. That's great. Go ahead, Roger. So we um, completely agree. We've um, built, we've, we have an internal um, task force that is, has, been, has already drafted a, um, a policies and procedures uh, manual, but also the, there's a, there's a biweekly call that goes through use cases that are surfacing from, and there's a, there's a couple of different sort of Zoom calls within the firm where people dem demonstrate use cases. Uh, kind of like a show and tell, but those are bubbling up into sort of legal to look at, okay, where, what are the risks of this process, where are the exposures, and then kind of document each of those. Because the expectation at some point the SEC is going to come and look at this in very detail, and I think, I'm sure a lot of, hopefully most firms are doing this, I want to be able to show that this is I think most firms process. are doing that, or some, some variation of that. I think once the SEC has its arms around it, through just, right now I think it's fair to say they're probably in the, the information gathering phase of this. Once they gathered enough information, just like they did with all data for many years, mm -hmm. they came to understand it. And now most routine examinations or many routine examinations contain a, a, a inquiry into how are you using data? Let me see your file, your diligence file and your contract with every data vendor because we want to understand it. Same thing's going to happen with AI. We're just, we're just still in the early innings, it as I said. It took the SEC 10 years to get to Yodely, though, right? Um, it, uh, it, it did. It did. I don't think it will take this long. I think you'll start to see questions about use of AI uh, from, the, from the SEC in examinations, not tomorrow, but, but sooner than 10 years. 